Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to discuss an interesting topic. What is sunk cost fallacy trap? Let's get right into it. I actually didn't know what this was and one of you mentioned it would be a good video topic and I did my research. Basically, if many of you may know what this is, but what sunk cost fallacy trap is, is continuing a behavior because you've already invested time or money into it. So basically, you don't want to see your past investment going to waste. I know I've done this myself. A couple really good examples involve food. One example would be you, you're eating at a buffet restaurant and you spent $15. You can't really eat that much. You don't want to leave the food on your plate. You want to eat your money's worth. And so you go and you overstuff yourself or say you can't take your food home because you're going somewhere else after a restaurant. And so you just continue eating past the full point because you don't want to throw that food away. You want to get the most money out of it. That would be a really good example. So if the cost outweighs the benefit, is it worth it? Also, many people have stayed at jobs or had unhealthy friendships or relationships because they've already invested so much time and maybe even money into a relationship or a job and they feel like, hey, I won't be able to get that past investment if I keep sinking time and money into this, it's going to eventually pay out. And sometimes it doesn't. I put down a third one, a gym membership or any service that you don't do that you really are not that interested in doing, but you keep thinking that, hey, I've already invested in this and I can't get that money back, so I'm going to keep investing in it because eventually it's going to work out. So you can't get money back and we do make spending mistakes or time mistakes along the way, but is it really worth it in the end? And I put number four, and this one is relevant to me, movies, books, TV shows, anything and I would say like a sitcom that you love and say this sitcom's on the air for 10 years and after five years you're getting bored but you feel like because you've already invested five years into it you know what you're just going to keep investing more time into it even if you're not benefiting from it also this would be another really good example number five college now college is fabulous for many people but say you're even three years into college and maybe you're not really enjoying the classes, you decide it's not what you want to do, but now you've got debt, and whatever major it is, you decide college isn't for you, and you find out what you want to do, but you don't really need college for that degree, but you keep going to college with that degree anyway and spending more money, and that would be an example of the sunk cost facility or uh, fallacy trap. Also, and I put another one, and this is another one that I've done. Number six, any kind of business or network marketing or business opportunity. You can, and it could be a business that you own, and it's something that's not panning out, and you keep putting money and time into it, trying to you know get what you wanted to originally get from it, but it just isn't working out. And instead of just saying, hey, let me move on to something else, you keep putting time and money into, into that item. And then my husband came up with this one, and I thought this was good. A sports, in the sporting, a draft member, and it's somebody that they think is going to be a potential wonderful player, and they maybe don't work out like they thought, and they've sunk a lot of money into them, and they keep them around because they think eventually it will turn itself around. These are just some ideas. I know that I am guilty of many of these. The gym membership, the, the one where I, mainly for me, it isn't as much the money for me. A lot of mine is the time that I've sunk into things, thinking I'll get something out of it. I would like to know from you with this sunk cost fallacy trap, are any of these relevant to you? Have you ever invested time and money into something that you think will eventually pan out but and you just keep investing in it because you've already dedicated so much time into it. But then you realize in the end that it just isn't going to work out. And you've had to finally just say, I've lost that past investment. That's okay. It's time to move on. I'd like to hear from you. This is a new topic to me. I'm just learning about it. So I appreciate you listening to me. But I'd sure like to have an interesting discussion in the comments below. This is Money Mom signing off. And as always, I love you. Bye-bye.